Smoking, marijuana, vaping, how do they affect your sexual function? Well, I'm Dr. Rena Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and we're gonna dig into that today. If you're new here, I make new videos every Monday and Friday, so make sure you subscribe and share this channel with your friends. I'm gonna be quite honest with you guys. If there's one thing I wish people would stop doing, it is smoking. Smoking is probably the worst thing you can do for your health. Not only does it put you at risk for so many different cancers, lung cancer being the most common, but also prostate cancer and bladder cancer, it also can affect your erectile function and your fertility. Let's be realistic, guys. Having cancer feels like something that could never happen to you, right? So you might take that risk, but not being able to have an erection or have a baby is probably a bit more scary. So does smoking actually cause issues with erectile function? When you're looking at cigarettes, they have so many ingredients in them, nicotine and other chemicals that can cause issues with blood flow. Specifically, when you smoke, what happens is your blood vessels narrow so that blood can't travel throughout your body as well. It can also cause increased inflammation and issues with plaque buildup in the arteries. These things all together basically reduce blood flow to the penis, which makes it difficult to get erections. And if you've watched my video on erectile dysfunction and psychogenic erectile dysfunction, you'll see information about what our bodies need to create erections. And one of the main things is good blood flow. In fact, smoking increases the likelihood of having erectile dysfunction by almost three times someone who doesn't smoke. That doesn't mean that you're out of luck if you've smoked. In fact, they've looked at studies and they've seen that after about three to six months of stopping smoking, people's erectile function and sexual performance increases. So three to six months is not a really long time. If you're struggling with erectile function and you're smoking, I strongly encourage you to try and quit and see if this improves your erectile function. If you're ready, make sure you talk to your doctor because actually getting help from someone who specializes in smoking cessation or even getting medication to help you with quitting smoking can increase your likelihood of being successful by four times. What about vaping? Vaping is all the rage these days. And in fact, a lot of people have talked about using vaping as a way to help wean off of smoking. But does it impact your sexual function? Well, in 2021, they did a study where where they looked at data from over 20,000 men and they included only healthy men who didn't have high cholesterol, heart problems, being overweight or obese, didn't have diabetes, and never smoked outside of vaping before. And they looked at men who vaped and compared them to men who didn't. And they found that men who vaped had a 2.5 times higher likelihood of erectile dysfunction. And this is really shocking to me. I I had no idea that it was really that much higher in people who vaped. And the reason being is that a lot of times the vape products still have nicotine in them. And because they're boiled or heated up in a different way, you might be getting different exposure to different chemicals in vaping than you do with smoking. So there's a lot still that we don't know about vaping. I would say if you're vaping and you're doing it regularly, it's certainly going to become a problem and you probably should try to wean off of that as well. If you're doing it once in a while and it's helping you quit smoking, it may be a reasonable option to continue for the short term. Lastly, let's talk about marijuana. Marijuana is interesting because we use marijuana in the medical field for lots of different things, including things like chronic pain for people who have cancer, for people who have difficulty eating and other chronic conditions. In fact, even in urology, I've seen studies about cannabinoids or marijuana derivatives used for patients with multiple sclerosis and urinary problems. There's certainly value in it for certain problems. But what about for sexual function? Well, it's a little bit complicated because marijuana is a relaxant and because it relaxes you, it can increase dopamine or that feel good molecule in your body, making you feel a little bit euphoric and maybe even increase your libido in the short term. However, when you're using it more chronically, it can create other problems. Notably, sometimes it can create drowsiness, which can actually reduce your libido. So when you're using too much of it, you can feel too tired to actually 
want to have sex. Also, the cannabinoid receptors, which the marijuana activates, can also impact the nerve function to the penis, making it sometimes more difficult to get an erection. And lastly, because marijuana heightens sensation, for some people that heightened sensation can lead to not being able to last as long or premature ejaculation. However, this may not affect you or everybody the same way. We don't have a lot of good data on marijuana use, primarily because it's been illegal for so long and there's so many different formulations that it's very difficult to study in a scientific setting. But bottom line is in the short term, you might find some increased libido when you're using marijuana, but in the long term, it may create some difficulties in the bedroom. As always, I hope you guys found this useful and remember to take care of yourself because you're worth it. <laughs>